I woke up around 7.30 and I felt like working a little bit in my bed and drinking water before officially getting up. So that's what I did. And I ended up shopping for a new tripod and some sticky things to glue to my desk so that my cables finally stop fall off when I unplug my computer. And I'm very excited to get this new tripod. I think it's an investment because at least I will be able to take better pictures from my Instagram account and I also think it will let me have better angles for my um, videos. Then I went to the kitchen to get breakfast. And I stopped to look at my cat and pet him a little bit, but not too much because I'm in quarantine, but it's very hard to stay away from him. And when I got to the kitchen, I actually didn't know what I wanted to eat for breakfast. These days, I'm making a latte, hot latte. I was thinking it might be interesting to do a video about all the different ways I drink my coffee. Let me know in the comments of the video if that would be interesting. I saw Karma Medic doing this video and I, I kind of liked it, so I was thinking I could do the same. What do you think? So I ended up eating a croissant, which my mom bought this week, and I was watching The Boys on Prime. I just caught up uh, in season 2 of the series, and it's very good. I don't really like the name The Boys. I don't know, I feel like it's too manly, I guess, but um, it's very nice. It's about superheroes, but the story is very different than what we're used to, so I'm really enjoying it these days. When I'm done eating, I go to Instagram for a bit and that's really why I always start working quite late. It's because I'm so slow in the morning and take my time. I lose my time on Instagram there, as you can see. Hello everyone. So good morning. It is 9 a.m. and I just took a shower and now I will clean my bedroom because it's a mess. Um, the reason that I'm wearing a mask inside is because I'm quarantining, I'm on mandatory quarantine because I went to the US for a month to see my boyfriend because I am in a long distance relationship. So I went to the US and I want to be very careful because I live with my mom and I'm taking every precautions that I can. Um, so yeah, that is why um, I did travel, but I really want to do everything to protect my mom. Like, um, going to see my boyfriend made me very happy. Like, I think it was good for my mental health and stuff like that. Like, it really helped me, but now I need to do everything I can to protect everyone. Like, if I have anything, um, I want to be the only one to get it. So, I've been back for three days right now. I take my feet, my temperature, like three times a week and I think I was reading that if you like cut it while traveling it would be two to five days usually to get symptoms so right now it's day three and it has been quite scary because it went good like everything went good in the traveling but um, Canada has a website that you can see the flights where there was cases of COVID and they give you the affected rows in the plane and I looked for like two months, I looked every day, every week, whatever, I looked my route. So um, I did Philadelphia to Montreal and there was, that, that my flight number was never on the website. But since I've been here, it has been, there has been two flight, like my flight numbers has been there two times, but on different dates. So there was um, COVID. There was a COVID case on the September 11 flight, and those were inside my affected rows. So I got very scared, but then I saw that it was the wrong date. So I traveled on September 24, and then yesterday there was a new flight. It was on September 21st, but then it was not in my affected rows. So I got very scared and I'm looking multiple times a day too because I guess I don't know if I see my flight I'll be even more crazy like I will I'll tell my mom Don't take your shower for two weeks or whatever because the only thing we share right now is the shower like we have separate bathrooms But we just have one shower. So yeah 
Um, so right now I need to clean my bedroom because since I arrived from the airport I just left everything there <laughs> Like I put everything in quarantine it feels like I didn't touch anything Like every every time I would touch one of the items I would wash my hands But I really waited to extensively touch them and move them around Just to be sure So, But right now I'm very tired of my room being messy So I'm gonna clean that So I'm not done cleaning my bedroom yet, but I need to get to work because it's almost 10. So I really want to get to work, otherwise... I, I really need to start early, I don't know why, that's in my mind, like... Uh, that's a good question, like, do, are you like me? I need to follow a very strict routine, otherwise my whole day will be uh, not productive. Like, are you like that? Like, if I don't start working before 10 a.m., then my whole day won't be productive I don't know why, it's just how I am I guess so that's why I want to start working now uh, but I'll show you the progress and yeah so these are uh, clothes that I need to fold and put it there the noise is the AC <laughs> so yeah I just took my fever I'm, on, I'm at 36 celsius so that's good and uh, yeah this is charging and I have a lot of laundry to do but I'm so lazy I don't like doing laundry <laughs> so that's how it is I turned on the AC because it's very warm and I was reading that uh, this might get some particles like if I have COVID or whatever it might get some particles but my mom will be here for another eight hours so I think it should be fine um, yeah, so I think it should be fine, like uh, three hours before she arrives, I'll close all the doors and I guess the droplets will go down, right? I also need to do the uh, cleaning in the office, but I will do that later on today because I need to work now, like I just said. And also my cat is in there, but I'm trying to not touch him, but it's really hard because I think he missed me during the month that I was gone so he really wants a lot of attention and otherwise he just bangs in the door and uh, makes a lot of noise but he's so cute isn't he? you know we they cute he's looking outside it's the, the trees are turning red are you leaving now? yes okay so here is the state of the room here um i need to clean all of this i mean this is all here because i'm trying to limit my trips to the kitchen so i just put everything there and then i go down at some point uh, my desk is quite clean um but here is another corner uh, with mess so here i'm keeping some food so i don't have to go down in the kitchen shared kitchen and I just brought these from my bedroom. Uh, I will work out, but first I need to <laughs> make some room here because it's so full. So I'll do that later today. And then I started a study with me live stream on my channel, as you will hear me talk about it in one second. Hello everyone, so welcome to this new live stream. Um, we are Sunday, it's 10 a.m. And I'm gonna study all day today, so hopefully you can join me. These days I plan um, my task for the day on Notion. It has been a few months already, so this is the first thing that I did and after making the list um, for the day, I went to my Apple calendar and I added these tasks to my calendar so I could see um, if I had enough time to complete every task. I also updated the default description of my videos because I wanted to add the mouse that I'm using right now. I added the link to it on Amazon in the description. This 
So today I will be making egg burgi, burgi? I don't know how to say it, burgi? For the first time alone without my boyfriend. So, um, also I'm very curious because I got these uh, Indian spices and I also have this, which is the same thing. But like, I bought this in Canada and not in an Indian store. So I wonder if it's the same thing, if it's similar or not. I'm very curious. Um, and I also don't have red chili powder, which you usually use in um, egg bilgi. So I'm gonna try a mix of paprika and chili seasoning, which is not the same. Um, but hopefully it will help. Um, we'll see. But first, let's see this garam masala. I know there will probably be Indian people who are gonna watch my video. So I also got these spices. I'm very excited to try them all. Um, yeah. It's, I, I finally gonna have the spices that I need for the recipes that I want to cook. <laughs> because I live in a very small town and I don't have these spices. Okay, let's open it. Oh, it smells so good. Like, just opening this, it smells already, and I have a mask on. So, I think my boyfriend does that, and then you just put a spoon. Let's smell. It's quite the it's quite similar, but this one tastes better. Like it really is better. So I guess I won't use this one anymore. <laughs> so egg bougie is like scrambled eggs, but with spices. And I don't know why, but it is really good. Like uh, it's my boyfriend told me it's a very basic meal, but for me it's. I think it's really good. It blows my mind how it's only eggs, but it tastes so good. So I will have this with rice today. Um, I wish I had lentils, but I, I don't want to cook um, lentils, eggs, and then rice. Onions are the worst. Okay, so what else can I do? I was looking at a recipe and they were saying to scramble like mix the eggs until there's like oh until there's like bubbles so I think I got it mm. I think I might do three eggs it's time to cook so I don't think I'll follow the recipe I'll try to remember what my boyfriend was doing but maybe he watched this video and he will think I'm not I'm not doing it right what I did is just that I already had mixed the eggs and the onion in, in the bowl and when I put it in the pan I just added the spices. I used paprika, chili seasoning, sal salt and pepper and also garam masala which, which is the main spice that the, the eggs were tasting at the end. I used to eat the eggs with vegetable pickles but I don't have this at home so I had to use some ketchup and sriracha sauce. It was not as good with, with those. So, sorry I didn't vlog much today. Um, this morning I worked on my thesis. It went really well. I worked on it for two hours and I made some progress. Um, I made some tables of results in my thesis. I created them and I also verified that I could reproduce the results because um, I'm, I'm writing about a work that was a collaboration between um, between people so 
I'm doing the wrap up of everything but I really need to confirm um, what others have done to make sure I understand everything and that I can reproduce the numbers um, so that went well and now um, I'm not feeling like doing my thesis <laughs> um, so I think I will edit a video um, I recorded a video a year ago about a problem that I had with my apartment uh, a week after I moved in, the landlord wanted me to move out already because there was some a lot of misunderstanding. So I, I filmed the story time video and I needed to update with everything that happened, um, how the story ended, like so, how this whole thing um, finished. So I just did that and now I'm gonna edit that video because lately, I don't know why, I've been really enjoying fil filming videos. Um, not filming, I meant editing. Um, I feel like I'm not as good as at filming, and but I really like editing. Editing is so fun, so it's a struggle. Like, you don't like filming, but you like editing, you're stuck with <laughs> Like, if I want to edit, I need footage. So, yeah, I think I will also start editing this vlog. Um, and hopefully that will uh, give me some motivation to have more footage for this vlog because it always happens to me. I start a vlog and then filming is so hard. You have to do so many angles. Like, has anyone here tried filming videos? Um, uh, I also want to buy either Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. I'm still researching on both programs, but I want to uh have better editing skills so i think i will register to some online class about uh to learn one or one or the other program so i can make better videos because it's really fun and yeah so right now it is 2 30 p.m and i will do that and then i'll see you later so it seems like I don't have any footage of me editing videos, but that's what I did in the afternoon. And then I started cleaning the office because I wanted to work out. Since COVID, I haven't started going back to the gym again. What I've been doing is just videos on YouTube. So I really like Chloe Ting, Pamela Reef, Fitness Blender and all these channels. So today I was doing two videos by Pamela. And as you can see for the squats, it was a little bit difficult because I have a very small space. These days, I'm not very motivated to work out. I don't know why, so I really just did like 20 minutes of work. It was a short one, but at least it's better than nothing. So I just took a shower. Oops. I'm in my PJ now and look. Food. So this is dog, mashed potatoes. I don't know the name in English and a little sauce that comes with the duck. I think I'm gonna watch New Girl with it. Uh, I think this is the pilot, but I don't. I forgot where I'm at, so I think I'm just starting over. <laughs> I really want to eat because it looks so good. Hello. So I just finished editing the vlog and I realized I never film anything after dinner. So I just worked for a few hours and then I probably went to bed around 11 p.m. So thank you for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you would like to see in my next vlogs and I'll see you in another video.